With this free download, you'll be able to improve your microphone quality in just one click, while also having more refining abilities like setting an EQ, compression, gate, even a limiter. It's not just limited to microphones though. You can even set an EQ for your headphones. So imagine you're playing Call of Duty or Valorant or something where you'd like to emphasize footsteps. You can set an EQ just for that. And then when you're not playing, you can toggle it on and off. So your desktop audio doesn't sound all muddy. And would it really be a 2024 video if I don't also mention that we're gonna be messing with AI a little bit here? I'll save that for the end. This is just a little bit of what voice meter is capable of. So let's just go ahead and dive in and get it set up. I bet I sound a lot worse right now, huh? It's because I'm not going through voice meter. So that's like, you can you can see the difference that it, that it makes. Okay, here's a little disclaimer. We're messing with the audio on your computer. So at some points you're going to lose volume and also the ability to speak into your microphone. So I would suggest pulling up this video on your phone and watching it from there, or just some other device that is not gonna have its audio messed up because at some point you will not be able to hear the video. So you should do that now. Um, and like a really easy way of doing that is liking the video and then going to your liked videos on your phone and uh, you can find it there. Okay, links in the description for anything at any point that I talk about it in this video. Uh, voice meter, here's where we're getting started. We're getting it downloaded. We're going to download Banana. This is free and it is the best version of free voice meter that we can get. If you wanna pay and get more, you can go to Potato and you can download that, but we are going to focus on Banana right now. So go ahead and download that and get it installed. And once you have it installed, go to your search bar and type in Banana. So this is what we're looking at for like a fresh install. Hopefully your voice meter looks exactly like this. First thing that we wanna do is actually select our microphone and select our headphones and speakers. On the right-hand side, a1, A2, A3. Each one represents an output. A1, I will make A1 be represented by my headphones. So I'm gonna find my headphones and I'm gonna select WDM. Okay, so no more red blinking. We got it selected. We should be able to hear things through voice meter. On the left-hand side, we're gonna do our microphone, hardware input, left click, same thing, WDM, my microphone. Now, just to stay organized, I'm going to right click hardware input. I'm gonna type in CAD, because that's who makes my microphone. Okay, so now looking down, we have a bunch of these buttons here. The A buttons are represented by what you will hear, and the B buttons are represented by what other people will hear. So that's the simplest way for me to explain it. So if you're looking at the microphone here, and you have the A button green and clicked on, then that is actually sending your microphone to your headphones that we just selected, right? I don't wanna hear my microphone, so I'm gonna turn that off. Just to stay organized, like I'm gonna turn B2 on as well so that my microphone is being sent out everywhere. And I'm like, I just know that no matter what, someone should be hearing my microphone. I'm also going to turn on mono because as you can see here, my microphone is just coming out on one side. So if I click mono, it's gonna raise my volume a little bit and bring it up on the right channel as well. I'm not using these, so I'm just gonna turn A1 and B1 off. So now we're onto the virtual inputs. I don't want anyone to hear my desktop audio. So I'm gonna turn off the B1 and B2. And I'm also going to turn on A2, A3 on both of these so that I know that it's sending the audio everywhere that it should be. So we're staying on track with being organized here. We have virtual inputs. In small text, we have voice meter VAIO and aux. These are two separate inputs that are going to allow us to do things like turn yourself into a music bot on Discord, or if you're a streamer, you can stream and listen to Spotify without the viewers hearing what you're listening to. So you can do some cool things with that. I'm going to right click virtual inputs and I'm gonna write desktop. And now the aux is blank. I'm gonna right click there and type Discord because I don't really stream. So I'm gonna focus on Discord. Process will be the same. Now going to the IntelliPan effect. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna left click this eye here, turn it blue. And then this is the magic. This is like that one click to make your microphone sound better. Less is more, okay? So a lot of people, if anyone's watching this and you are, and you're a producer or you mix or you do voiceover, like you might hear this and think, oh God, that's so bad. Where you want your audio to be as flat, neutral as possible. That's not what I want. And so I really like the way that this sounds. I'm gonna keep it close to the center. And I just, I feel like it's a pretty drastic difference. Now I'm actually recording my audio in audacity so i don't think you'll pick up the difference i'm gonna switch over here's a hard cut hard cut okay i just love recording audio so much more in voice meter quick side note we have a tape here you see that it's red it's because i'm recording 
I just click the red record. It's going to documents. Super easy. Love it. Okay, so let's just refine the microphone a little bit more here. We have compression and we have the gate. So the compression is going to make loud noise quieter and quiet noise louder. It's going to attempt to make your audio all sound as close to the same volume as possible. If you're in a really well-treated room, this would be great. I'm not. I could have a thousand dollar microphone in front of me and it would still sound terrible. So hopefully y'all are being a little bit forgiving on me. We got hardwood floor, small room. There's no treatment whatsoever. I am, I'm struggling in here. So I'm not gonna mess with the compressor at all. If your room, you don't notice a whole lot of echo. If maybe your computer isn't that loud, if you don't have a loud keyboard, you can go ahead and turn up your compressor. I wouldn't go higher than three. I wouldn't go higher than two. Now, now you're maybe hearing the effects of it. Sorry for the ASMR, that's terrible. Yeah, I can't do the compressor. I think it highlights the, the flaws in my room a lot. The gate, however, that's, that's my jam. This is what's going to silence audio that is below a certain threshold. So if it's not super loud, it's just kind of a faint noise, maybe my keyboard clicking, turning the gate up to like one, maybe 1.2, that will help reduce the amount of times that my microphone is picking up those like background sounds. So I like that. Again, I would not go more than two for this because when you go too extreme with these things, that's when it's gonna start cutting into your actual spoken word. And overall, like when you're working with audio, this is something that's going to constantly keep coming up. Less is more. You don't wanna cut into your dialogue. So turning the gate up too much, uh, it's going to cut into my sentences and cut off my sentences like yeah no good so i'm gonna keep it at like 0.9 maybe i don't need it to be doing too much okay now we also have a limiter i don't know why they hide it so much but look at where my mouse is at here i'm going to right click and then i'm going to type in four and now we have a limiter that we can like drag down so this is going to stop my audio from getting too loud and peaking so i like that okay so now the eq i'm gonna go to my microphone eq so my microphone is being sent to B1 and B2. So if you go over here to the virtual side, we see the labeled B1 here and B2 there. And I'm also gonna click mono here, just to be redundant. And then also below that, I'm gonna right click to bring up the EQ. Now I'm currently editing a dedicated video for explaining EQ and what's good for just dialogue. So subscribe if you wanna learn more. This is a whole deep dive. I'm not gonna explain what an EQ is, but depending on when you're watching this, check out my channel and I might have a video that is super helpful on explaining what all of this is. This is how you set it up and you can toggle between an A EQ and a B EQ. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of here and we can turn it on. And there you go. Now you got an EQ that's live on your microphone. Now we have like a quick EQ, I guess here, um, with the treble and the bass and stuff. I don't really mess with this. I would rather do the same thing looking at the master section you can just right click a1 we hear we see a1 here correlated with your headphones right click eq same thing so that's where you deal with your your eqs okay so now is the time where things might get a little weird with the audio hopefully you're watching this on a separate device okay so this is where things are going to get a little funky hopefully you're watching on another device let's go to the taskbar look for that sound icon right click Go to sounds and now we need to make voice meter your default playback remember how we labeled things here desktop audio is vaio discord is aux so i'm going to right click on voice meter input these things get flipped things by the way flipped. the playback is usually the output because we're inputting it into voice meter not the aux i'm going to ignore the aux i'm just going to do voice meter input and make that your uh, default communication device here and then go to the recording and same thing voice meter aux output I'm assuming that's b2 I can test that right now by b2 is voice meter aux output b1 is voice meter output and we're good to go so with that being said once you have that set up every software is going to be sending audio through discord specifically through this channel here the desktop. So now having explained that, you can go into your Discord and manually set it so that Discord's playback device is voice meter aux. So everything goes through desktop except Discord. And now all you have to do is go to desktop 
and then click B1 and B2, join a Discord voice channel, and then all of your audio is being sent through your microphone. And if you're streaming and you want to be able to listen to music off stream, then you would go into Spotify and with Spotify, you would set that to just be voice meter aux. And then on, in OBS or whatever broadcasting software you use, make sure that is just voice meter input. And now your stream will never hear your Spotify, no matter how loud or whatever you do with it. Okay, so now that we have all of our audio running through voice meter, we will always need it to be up and running to continue to hear things. So let's go to menu and then you can toggle on system tray and run on Windows startup. And so now it'll just automatically turn on and you can exit out of it and it'll still be working fine. So if I covered everything at this point that you're interested in, now would be a great time for me to invite you to my Discord server where I have a specific bot made for monitoring your audio. You will join a voice chat in my server a bot will come in and start recording your audio. You say a couple of lines, and then when you're done, it DMs you the recording of that voice session so that you can hear exactly how you sound in Discord, which is always going to be worse than if you try to hear yourself locally. Like recording on voice meter, there's no compression. I'm gonna sound great. But on Discord, it's sending my audio out into servers and it's getting compressed and it's not entirely accurate to what you think you might sound like. So you can join the server, link in the description and I will be able to answer any questions. You can use the bot, it'll be a good time. Okay, so now that they're gone and it's just the real ones here, let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper. This is so cool. I'm gonna go to menu and I'm gonna look at the macro buttons here. Click run macros on voice meter start and that should bring something up that looks like this. So voice meter has macro buttons and it's pretty freaking cool. You can see that I already have some buttons on and they can be triggered just by me left clicking the actual button. It can also be triggered by an actual hotkey or shortcut keys. Press these specific keys and I'll just do it whether this is up or not. So I don't actually have to have this up on my screen to work, which is nice. So you can see like, oh, cool. Sound bites, soundboard. That's cool, kind of. But I also have a button for muting my headphone and muting my mic. I will right click the button to bring up these settings here. And if you want to just copy this, you can go ahead or you can join my discord where I will have like a channel just dedicated to sharing these. This to learn this is like diving into the user manual of voice meter. This can be a little bit complicated unless you use chat GPT and there it is. There's the AI. Okay. So let me show you this conversation that I had this prompt. I got nothing to hide. Okay. So I gave it the user manual of voice meter and then I asked it. Could you give me a button configuration that would allow me to toggle on and off the EQ for my headphones? And I had to tell it that my EQ, my headphones are in A1. It thought that I was using a MIDI controller implementation. I'm not. So here's what it told me to do. And let's just make a new button. Right click. And it's a new day because my recording got cut off, which is just fantastic. Anyways, back to setting up a button here using ChatGBT. So I asked it how to do it for a microphone. Um, and here's what it gave me back. So the things in bold is what I was just copy and pasting into the button here. So this is a toggle for the mute of your microphone. One thing that you want to look at when working with the buttons is what positions do you want it to be? Usually it's a two position um, button, something like a soundboard would be just a one position. Um, and then we just go to the request for button on. And this is really what you need. I added that this is B1. So bus three equals B1 in the master section. EQ on one represents being on. So here's just a quick little button. You guys can pause and copy and paste this if this is a button that you would want and to trigger it you can go into the keyboard shortcut and see that this has an extensive list of possible even going all the way up to f24 so if you have something like a stream deck that's just pressing one button that can trigger numerous amounts of things you just make make a voice meter folder on here and then the world is your oyster but also you can do that on your phone so i think you can do a stream deck on your phone which is now we're getting into like i don't know that's pretty cool. All right, I'll close out with that. I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful. There's a lot of videos out there on voice meter that sometimes I feel like can make it more confusing than it needs to be. So I think your future self would appreciate a like on the video, but if you do have any questions, by all means, join the discord, you can get in touch with me directly. Um, and I also have a channel just full of more macro buttons for you guys to check out. I think that's it. That's all I got. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day.